My name is Rich Harrington, and I'd like to show you the time remapping abilities inside Adobe Premiere Pro. It's pretty extensive. Let's go ahead to this clip here and just watch it through to begin with. And you see our actress has a head turn. Now, that shot was fine, but the head turn went a little bit quickly. I want to change that. Let's press the plus key to zoom in a bit. And you'll notice that you have a control line here that you can use. By default, it's set to opacity. But if I click the drop down arrow there, I could choose time remapping, speed. And now that line is going to control time remapping. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. And what I want to do is add some keyframes for the head turn. There's the start. So I'll go ahead here and double click. Brings it up. And let's just take a look at the effect controls there. Good. I'll add a keyframe. And then play forward. I'm going to hold down the K key and then press L to play in slow motion. There we go. There's the end. And let's just add another keyframe. Now you can also do that right here down in the tool by clicking. And that will add a keyframe. I'm just going to undo in this case. You just have to use the pen tool to add that for the line. Now, these individual keyframes that you see are essentially representing speed. And what I want to do is leave the action before the keyframe at 100% and after the action at 100%. But in the middle here, I want to drop it down to half speed. So I'm just going to click and drag down. And I'll take that to about 50%. Notice that the clip adjusts and you've got this stair step where it shows 100% drop to 50%, goes back up to 100%. That's fine and it'll work, but it's not exactly what we need here. If we look at it, it's going to feel a bit jarring. And you see the very hard transition from normal speed to slow motion and then back. Notice too that timer mapping is going to knock audio out of sync and there's just no way around that because you're stretching the frames. All right, to smooth this out, I'm going to pull these apart. And by grabbing these two, you see that we can create a ramp zone or a smoother transition. This means that you can actually get a nice transition between the two speeds. And with the frame selected there, you can actually tweak this. And you'll see that you can round those out a bit so you have a smoother curved ramping effect. All right, let's watch that back. Looks pretty good. And it's a very smooth transition from normal speed to slow-mo and back. All right, that's the timer mapping effect. It's pretty straightforward. If you change your mind, you can always reset it up here. And when you do that, it's going to clear those values out. Timer mapping takes a little bit of time to get used to, but I find it easiest to work with it both down here in the timeline and take a look at the mini timeline up in the effect controls panel.